And for Larry Scott and the Hurricanes, with all that they've been through all week long, they've come up here, they've fought hard, they've played well, their backup quarterback has played well, but too many penalties. It was a great football game. It was a great spectacle. Yeah. And now, a uh, kickoff, a kick return. Hey, would you just kick this out of bounds if you're Duke? Give him the 35-yard line with six seconds to go. Might not be a bad plan. Going to be a lot of rugby going on here. Take it short. Lateral. They practiced that on Wednesday. Time's going to expire on the game, so this either goes or it doesn't. Ball still alive. It's got to be a backwards lateral. Get behind it. Still alive. Duke doing a nice job staying, staying spacing all over. Oh, he got, they got a block. blockers. They got blockers. They've got a lane. 40 yard line. No black shirts between the goal line. Can you believe what you just saw? The ruling on the field is the touchdown. The play is under review. There are Duke players down. There are Miami players down. And they'll check each and every one of those laterals to make sure it was backwards. And for once, there's no flag. There might have been just one come out. Miami players littered all over the field. Corn Elder scored the touchdown. I lost count of the laterals after four. Both teams had worked on that play. Duke was spread out across the field. Playing the zone coverage. The return. There was a block in the back for the return team. That's a 10 yard penalty. There will be an untimed down. The play is still under review. Wow. Wow. And the flag was on the 25 yard line. Let's see what we can see. Here we go. Yeah. That's not it. I don't believe. Yeah, definitely backwards. I saw one when the ball got a little further down the field. There. Backwards. Yep. Backwards. Was he down? That's what the Duke fans watching this on the big board are asking. Elder there had to make sure that was backwards. That is. Ooh. Now watch up here. Coming up here, so there it is, right there. And was that one? Or that one? A lot of emotion. This word on both sides yeah. need to stay poised here. Yeah. It's fair to say the Miami sideline is very riled up right now. Yeah. Maybe a block there in the back. Well, that's where the flag, if that's, you said the flag was on the 25-yard line. If that's where the flag was, that was at the 25-yard line. Well, again, if that's it, that's yet another not a very smart penalty because that block didn't need to be made. What an ending to this one. Duke drives down the field, scores with six seconds to go in the game to take the lead. Miami does the lateral play, goes all the way to the other end and scores, but a penalty flag is dropped for a block in the back. 
And now they're reviewing it. Will we have an untimed down? The penalty's on Miami. If there's a penalty. <laughs> Here you go. If that, in fact, what I don't know. I don't know if that was a block in the back or not. Hard to see. We don't see a flag getting pulled over here. Uh, uh, part of the problem, Hawk, was that when he went, when Elder went into the end zone, half the Miami team streamed onto the field. So if the flag was on that far sideline, uh, it was well hidden for many people. Yeah. We certainly couldn't see a flag thrown. What is it going to be? Clean block there. Clean. Clean. Yeah, clean. Right here, this one. Ooh, that one's close. That's the one. I think. Boy. A lot of action there. Well, if it was, if that was the block in the back, it's. All right, count the laterals, watch the blocks. Referee's got his hand on the headset, so we might be getting a decision here. The pad is out. So let's, uh, let's hold on. Let's see what we get. Referee has just taken off the replay headset. The referees are now huddling, so you haven't missed anything yet. While well, you watch this incredible lateral play. I can tell here. All the laterals were good. They look like, yeah, it looked like all the laterals were fine. All right, here comes the call from Ooh. referee Jerry Magalinas. After replay review, there was never a knee down. Correction. The play is still under review. Replay will still look at it. While the referee was getting ready to make his announcement, the, the uh, sideline official that holds the headset stepped back out onto the field and was waving to the referee. Off camera, you couldn't see, was waving for the referee to come back over. So the ACC officiating crew still looking this one over. And obviously they want to get it right. Yeah. It's a game-deciding play. And uh, we talked about the implications earlier. This can decide who gets into the ACC championship game later on this season. Boy, it's never over till it's over, huh? That's why they say it. One. The thing that was amazing was how both of these teams, you could tell, had practiced this and worked on it and really had it covered. And it wasn't until at the end that Miami's were, was ready to break out. This is where was the knee down or not comes into question. Mm. Got an official standing right there looking at it. Said no. I'm counting the laterals. And watching the referee, who has just taken off the headset again. We're up to eight on the laterals. And he is calling the other members of his officiating crew in from the far side to make sure everybody knows what he's about to announce. I'm sure. After review, there was never a knee down by any of the runners of Miami. However, the, qu the blocking question was from the side, not from the back. It's a legal play, touchdown, game is over. Hurricanes win. Allison, 
an ending. Describe for me what you just saw on the lateral there to get that touchdown. Um, kids that just was not going to lose. They weren't going to lose. They never gave up. It's the same thing we've been preaching since day one, though. We can't beat God. We can't give up. Can never give in. It's never over. It's never over. We practice every day that there's four zeros on the clock. Every day. It's never over. This team needed this win so badly. What are your emotions right now, especially with the way you just won it? I mean, you hope as a coach you can teach guys life lessons, you know? And then you hope they come to fruition so that they'll start to believe. And that's all that there was. We preached all we, we wanted to touch the human element of these kids. Let them know everything that happened to you is real. But such is life. It's, it's all, it's all, it's all life. It's, but who's going to fight? Who's going to make the decision to fight? We're not going to be the nine, but you got to fight. And we had to overcome penalties. So it's still the same thing. So some more adversity comes on, and you still have to overcome it. Man, what an awesome, I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. As the referees were looking at that final play, what was being said on the sideline? What were you guys talking about? What were you feeling? Well, anytime you have that kind of deal go on, there's anger. There, there's, a, there's a range of emotions that's going on, and you're trying to compose them. But they gave everything they had, and it's hard. You got, but you got to do it. You got to have some composure. And that right there was going to be another teaching, another opportunity to teach. And that's what we are. We're mentors, we're teachers. We got to take advantage of every teachable moment. And so we got to teach them even in this. But it's just, it's, it's awesome for things to work out the right way when you do it the right way. What does this win mean to your team, to your guys? I think, you know what it means? It's a testament to everything we started out doing this year. The foundation is strong. A man, a wise old man told us, you know, he overcomes adversity. And that's what happened tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What a football game. What a capper to a week of stories and turmoil for this Miami program. It was guts and heart and passion on both sides from the get-go, back and forth, the, as you mentioned, the off-the-field storylines. What a great storyline by Duke football and Coach Cutcliffe and what he's built here, what's going on. One of the greatest finishes in the history of college football right there. Unbelievable.